Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the unconventional attorney. And today I want to talk to you about the hard thing about consistency. Before I get to that though, I want to remind you, if you are tired of trying to remember to follow up with your potential clients, tired of checking in with your current clients, and tired of trying to remember to check in with your old clients, um, then uh, you can steal my automations. And you can do it automatically, step by step. You just tag them and the emails just go out. Text too, actually, you can do text. Um, but um, if you want to get a hold of that, it's seven dollars. Very expensive. Um, the upside is huge. Unconventionalfollowup.com. Okay, let's talk about consistency. Okay, um, if you if you uh, I just actually so actually I'm not going to say that. I'm going to keep a secret. But one of my quotes, I don't I don't think I came up with this. I stole it from someone, but I've kind of adopted it as my own. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Um, one of the things that I write down every single day in my journal is embrace the monotony of success. The reason I write that down every day is it reminds me to do the things that I need to do to get to where I want to go. The reason I have to write this down every single day is because of the hard thing about consistency. Now, when it comes to consistency, what makes it so hard is, is twofold and actually sort of like both sides of the coin. First, with consistency, there is no immediate gratification. Gratification, <clears throat> okay? So think about it like this. You go to the gym all the time and you work out. Um, over time, you start to see results, right? Over time, you start to uh, uh, become more fit. You start to lose weight. You start to see muscles. You start to do these things. But the first day you go to the gym, you, don't, you may not see any change. You may not feel any change at all. Um, the second day, same. Third day, same. You may go to the gym for a month and not see a big change in the way that your body looks. You may start eating well and, ha and see the same thing. You might start creating videos and not get clients for months, okay? Just, just the way it is. Um, often you will, but often you won't, okay? And so when it comes to being consistent, it's difficult because you are forced to show up every day and do things over and over and over again without seeing the immediate payoff. So that's the one thing that's hard about consistency. The other side of the coin, the thing that's hard about consistency is that you actually also don't see decay very quickly, right? So for example, if you, um, let's say you have been going to the gym for a long time and then you stop, okay? The, day, the first day that you don't go to the gym, you don't feel any different. You don't look any different. You don't notice anything different. Same with the, maybe the first week, maybe the first month. You know, you start eating poorly. You start doing these things. You stop making videos. You stop reaching out to your network partners. You stop, um, you know, doing whatever you're doing. You don't notice the change, right? The lack of consistency doesn't immediately show you decay. It doesn't immediately show you those negative consequences. But over time, they build up, they build up, they build up, and then you, and then you feel them, right? The, the lack of consistency over time. And that's what makes consistency so hard. You don't see the upside right away and you don't feel bad right away when you quit. So um, it's key, it's, it's critical that you develop some sort of consistency in your routine, in your marketing efforts, in your, in your health, in everything. And you know, I was thinking about just talking about this without giving any solutions, but what kind of person would I be if I did that? And I think that um, for me, there are a couple of different things that I do uh, when it comes to consistency. And I wanted to share those with you to help me be more consistent. One of the things that I do, first of all, if you're trying to create new habits, if you're trying to create a new consistent action, you just have to know that it's gonna take a while, but eventually it may become a habit, All right? For example, for me, creating these videos, it's actually not that hard. It's not as hard as it used to be because I just come up with an idea, I turn the camera on, I talk, and it's over. It's pretty quick, okay? Um, but in the past, I had, to I had to force myself to do these videos, and even today, there are days when I don't want to do them. The thing that I would do is this. I would create sort of like false or fake, or I would create my own uh, um, upside. You know, I would say to myself, okay, if I record a video every day this week, on Friday, I'm gonna give myself this thing, whatever that is. And whatever you're into, you can make it up. What that does is it gives you this fake or this false goal, this false uh, reward, if you will, for doing the things that you're doing. So it helps you get that immediate reward um, and be consistent without having to wait for what the consistent action will actually give you. So I would feel good at the end of a week of creating content 
because I would give myself this reward. I'd go play golf or I would do whatever. And I wouldn't have to actually wait for the phone to ring or for someone to like a video, for someone to, you know, like in a video, doesn't matter. Call me, sign up, okay? Um, that's one of the main things that, that I suggest that everyone tries to do when, you, when it becomes consistent. The other thing too is, is, is something that I do, which is journal, right? Every day, write your goals down. If you're not writing your quarterly goals down at least every day to remind yourself what you're going for, then you're going to run out of motivation. This consistency can become difficult. The third thing that you can do is get an accountability partner, a coach, a trainer, um, a mentor, someone that can bust your chops if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, okay? So that's it, some solutions to this problem of consistency, um, but anyone that's successful, you're gonna find has been consistent over a long period of time and has weathered the storm, has found a way to do the things that need to be done even when they don't want to do them, okay? That is it. As always, if you like this video, please, please hit the like button. If you have a question or a comment, let me know. Leave it here, leave it anywhere. And if you know someone that needs to hear this, please share it with them. And if you uh, are interested in getting my system for following up with people automatically, um, potential clients, current clients, past clients, everybody, go to unconventionalfollowup.com, seven bucks, it's amazing. And um, it's what I use in my own firm, okay? So that is it. As always, I am Christopher Small. I am the unconventional attorney. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I will talk to you again soon. See ya.